Okay, I need some inspiration. There once was a... Pigeon who wanted to ride a bike. This is easy. Well, I'm off to a good start with my book, but maybe I should find out more about the process from someone who's done it before. Hi BTN, my name's Mallory Whiting. I'm 13 years old and I live on the outskirts of Mount Gambia, South Australia. I go to school at Compton and enjoy hands-on activities and doing anything outside. Surprisingly, I got the idea to write a book from a dream. It was actually quite a bad dream and I told mum and she'd say, that would make a really good book. So I wrote it down but I decided, let's just leave out these scary bits, make it great for kids. My favourite part about writing is that I get to use my creativity and how I can finish something that I start that means something. Mallory's novel is called Behind the Wall and it's a whopping 32,000 words long. What an effort. My book is about a country girl called Ella who has to go to the city after an incident at her home. She starts off very shy and has no friends, but after she discovers a secret passage through the library wall, she learns to face facts, learn the truth and discover unlikely friendships and look at things the right way. And so the pigeon hopped onto his bike and rode off into the sunset. All done. It's okay for a novel to be half a page, right? What are you doing? Oh, hi. I'm just putting my book up for sale. It's about a pigeon who learns to ride a bike. It's kind of short, but it's really inspiring. That's not actually how you sell your book. Your book needs to be published first. Published? Mallory's book is self-published, meaning she and her mum took care of the illustrations, printing and distribution all on their own. The amount of time it took to write the book was about a year and then two years on editing and publishing. The biggest challenge was when I couldn't work out how to resolve the main problem in the book and also going through with the publishing stages because we did heaps and heaps of research and it took a long time to work out how to do it. And her advice to other potential young authors? Persistence, because that's the one thing you're going to need to accomplish something like this. This, whether it's a short book or a long book, it's still going to take all that time. There's lots of waiting and you just got to keep trying no matter how many times you fail. You just got to get back up again, keep persevering and that's how you finish a book. So it turns out that writing, editing, publishing and selling your own book is a bit harder than I thought. But it is possible no matter what your age. As for me, I'm taking this masterpiece back to the drawing board. It needs a few tweaks.